Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 562. And this movie is called Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forgetting Sarah Marshall is a 2008 movie directed by Nicholas Dorr, who also co directed Storks and also directed it Neighbors. So, Forgetting Sarah Marshall is a Universal Pictures movie. That I saw on September 19, 2022, at Regal Cinema 16 in Deerfield Town Center in Mason, Ohio. This was one of three films that was brought back to videos in preparation for the upcoming Universal Pictures movie Bros. So, the day in Sarah Marshall is about struggling musician Peter Bredo, who is played by Jason Siegel, is better known as the boyfriend of TV star Sarah Marshall, who is played by Kristen Bell. After she unceremoniously dumps him, he feels lost and alone, but makes a last dish bid to get over it by going to Hawaii. However, she and her new boyfriend, who is played by Russell Brand, are there in the same hotel. So Peter was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. He was going to Hawaii to, get, to, get, to forget all about her, but... The hotel that he's staying in, she's there too. So, <laughs> doesn't exactly end up well for Peter. But, there's also stars actors like Mina Kunis as Rachel, who is a receptionist for the hotel that Peter is staying. Bill Hader plays Brian Brother as Peter's stepbrother and also his best friend. Jonah Hill plays Matthew Van Der Witt, who is a waiter at the hotel. Wiz Kakowiski as Wiz Bredo, who is Brian's wife. Devon McDonald as Dwayne, who is, a, who is a bartender at the hotel. Jack McBriar as David Braden, who is a guest at the resort, who just got married. And his wife is Maria Fado, played by Yomia Roma Braden. Paul Wood also plays Chuck Traskunu, who is a surfing instructor. Jason Bateman, William Bartman, Terry Ato, and Christian Wade also stars in this movie. Oh wait, Christian Wade is actually in the unrated version. I just saw the theoretical version. Here's a little bit of trivia. Russell Brand's creator is Aldoria Snow, who is Sarah Marshall's new boyfriend. He actually plays the same character in another movie called Get Him to the Greed, who also, who also stars Jonah Hill in it. Hopefully I get to see that movie someday. But yeah, I thought it was a good movie, and I like how the movie first explores Peter trying to get over his good his last girlfriend and then realizes that this isn't going to work when he goes to Hawaii but let's just say Pio might be finding some love of his own when Mina Kunis who is played by Rachel goes on a date with him and let's just say Pio finds more in things common with Rachel than he ever did with Sarah and yeah I thought it was a pretty good movie and like I said this film was re-released in videos in preparation for Nicholas Storr's next movie, Bros, which I will be talking about in another movie we feel. But yeah, for Danny Sarah Marshall, is pretty good. You guys gotta check that out. So that's my movie we feel for Danny Sarah Marshall. Please thank you for my next movie we feel. Alright, goodbye.